In this video, we will learn how to control the camera using camera markers. In this example here, I have an astronaut standing on the surface of Mars, and what I want to do is have the camera pan in up close, pause for a moment, pan out. This is what it looks like. Starting with a scene where I've got the Mars background and the astronaut standing on the planet, I'm going to click Set Up Scene. Here, the very first thing I want to do is grab the camera. And underneath the camera, underneath One Shots, I have Object Markers and Camera Markers. Selecting Camera Markers, first thing is add a camera marker right here. This will be the starting position of the camera. So I name the camera marker. Nothing seems to have changed on the screen. However, if I move back slightly, you'll notice that there's a big red object that matches the red color of my first camera marker. This is an object that appears when I'm setting up the scene, but is invisible at runtime when I'm running my animation. The camera marker has a fixed position and an orientation. Moving the camera now to a new location, so I'm going to go up nice and close to the astronaut's face. name it and now I can get the camera to go back to the original starting position using a one-shot procedure move and orient to the camera's startup position so it brings me back to my first camera position and now I'm gonna go and edit the code when the program starts I need to pause for a second then move the camera and orient to the camera's up close position. Pause for two seconds. Move and orient to the original starting position. Let's see how this script works. Pause, move in close, pause, pan back out. Sometimes you want to move the camera and not pan in, but move instantaneously. To do that, I will change the detail for the camera movements so that its duration is zero. And when we look at that, snap close, pause, snap back out. In the next video, we will add sounds and make the spaceman talk.